the, the Secretary General of the United Nations has launched recently, uh, after the, the conference in London, remember in London, uh, sorry, in New York, there was a big conference in September on refugee and migrants. And the message in those conferences is to, to say that migration or refugee movements are everyone's problem. It's not a problem that one country faces. It's an international solidarity. And, and as we see, you see in Europe already people are explaining their, their impression about the man said, I have to, it's like I have to walk with my CV on my, you know, when I'm at home, I'm recognized, I'm acknowledged. When I'm in a foreign country, then having to go through this process of asylum, I have to explain my story again and again. It's a bit indecent. I feel I'm, you know, I'm being infringing my privacy. Um, there's a lot also of feeling of, uh, you know, being alienated and sometimes not, not so much understanding among the community around. And a lot of people in Europe or in everywhere in the world are, are feeling that. As a result of this, and we saw this last large refugee movement uh, last year and migrant movement last year in Europe, um, a, a campaign is being launched worldwide that is called uh, Together, uh, Together for Safety and Dignity and Respect. Uh, this is a movement that the United Nations is, is launching to mobilize everyone towards uh, bringing people together, emphasizing solidarity, avoiding the increase of xenophobia in the world because of increased refugee movement, increased, increased uh, migration movement, understanding each other and respecting each other. So that's a big, a big campaign that is being launched where there will be a lot of events, a lot of uh, brainstorming sessions, a lot of uh, public events to sensitize the public opinion to that so that we all stick together and we all feel this is all our problem. Uh, so this film is trying to show individual stories that reflect that and reflect how people are feeling from inside um, and how you know, it's important for us to, to understand that because we, we see refugees, we hear about migrants, we, we hear numbers, statistics, movement. These both movements become almost the daily news. You know, we see that every day in the news and we are almost not reacting anymore to it. But this film is kind of reminding us that behind those numbers, behind those statistics, there are people with them with their own stories. Um, so in terms of uh, uh, your, your your reaction to this film, if there is something that was the most, uh, that made you the most angry, what was the thing that made you the, made you the most angry in, in this movie? Yes. I, I, I would not say angry, but what struck me the most And you, you're absolutely right, and people explain it in the film. So when you when you pass that risk and all the adrenaline of trying to save your life move on, when you settle, and these procedures take a long time, and, 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 and you don't even know the outcome, you're not aware necessarily. This is where your trauma hits you back. This is where people remember what they've gone through, 
And the, the son and the mother were, were very telling examples, but the son was saying very worried for her. She sits every day not being able to work. It's the worst thing that can happen to her. She, she sits the whole day. And the, the mother was worried about the son not being able to study at the same time. So 